Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to backup Synology DSM configuration and network storage data, and how to recover data from a Synology NAS backup. In the present-day world, where digital data is of key importance, safety and integrity of information is becoming more and more crucial. Family photos or important files for work, any loss of data may become a disaster. In this context, ensuring reliable backup options becomes an integral part of a comprehensive data safety strategy. But how can we choose an appropriate backup tool that would combine reliability and ease of use? One of the options to be covered in today's video is using default backup features integrated into an operating system. Synology DSM both provides a wide range of data management tools and ensures safe data storage. We will also explore how to configure data backup on Synology DSM with the help of Hyper Backup app, how to backup the system using its integrated features, and how to restore Synology NAS data and configuration status. We'll have a closer look at every step, main functions, and detailed backup configuration. All of these to ensure the best possible level of data protection. Let's start by exploring how to get ready for backup. The first step on the way to an effective backup system on Synology DSM is creating a Synology account. This account will be used to access DSM, which stands for Disk Station Manager, the main Synology operating system. Go to the Synology official website. Click on the link Create a Synology account. Fill in all required information such as your email address, password, and other credentials. Confirm your account by checking the email you have received and following the instructions in it. For starters, let's explore how to backup Synology DSM configuration. Open Control Panel, Update and Restore, jump to the tab Configuration Backup and click Backup Configuration. After that, you will see the list of configurations to be included in this backup. Click Yes to proceed. The backup archive will be downloaded to your computer. For recovery, go back to the same control panel menu and click Restore Configuration. After that, give the path to the backup file and click OK. This will load the old configuration again. This way, you can restore an old configuration on a new device. However, you should understand that DSM versions of both systems must be the same, otherwise the recovery attempt will end in a failure. Another recovery method involves a special utility – Hyper Backup. This is a free tool to help you configure data backup on your network storage system. To start backing up your Synology DSM, make sure that the utility is installed and ready to use. For installation, go to Package Center in DSM. Use the search field to find Hyper Backup. Install the utility by following the instructions. Now Synology DSM is ready to create reliable copies of your data with Hyper Backup. Hyper Backup is a powerful application for Synology DSM designed to create and manage data backups. It provides the necessary flexibility and reliability to store your information. To backup your data, open the Hyper Backup app. Let's start by clicking on the plus button and creating a data backup task. This app offers you two ways to backup your stuff a data backup task and an LUN backup task. Data backup task means copying folders from your storage device. LUN backup task means copying network drives. For starters, let's explore a data backup task. In a new window that opens, choose the backup destination. It could be Synology C2 storage, a backup to Synology's cloud service, or it could be a remote NAS device. You can save a backup to another network storage system. One more option is Local Folder and USB or Local Folder and USB single version. These two options differ by how data is stored. The first option means you create a full copy first and other copies will only contain changes made at a later time. The second option means you will create and store a series of full copies. Now let's explore each storage method in detail. For starters, choose Synology C2 Storage next. This is when you need to sign in to your Synology account. Rem remember that Synology C2 Storage is the cloud storage provided by Synology itself. 
This service is commercial and you can have a free trial period to see how it works. Choose your subscription and click Next. Now you need to select a folder for backup and configure backup schedule. After that, you can start the backup process. Click to backup now. And when the file is ready, it will upload it to the cloud service. If you have one more network's attached storage, you can configure your backups to be saved to that device. In this window, specify the storage IP address, the username and password, Remember that the target device should have its backup feature activated. If this is a Synology device, install the Hyper Backup Vault package. After that, select a shared folder on the target device and choose a directory. Next. Now select the folder which should be backed up and click Next. If necessary, add applications to your backup and click Next. Configure backup schedule and click Next, then click Done. Backup now? Yes. After that, your backup will be created. Another backup type is Backup to a local folder. In this case, the copy of your data will be stored on the same device. You should select a target folder where the backup file should be stored and choose the folder which should be backed up. Add application backup and configure the schedule. After that, you will see the same message as in the previous backup method. Click Yes to create a backup file. Another backup type is File Server. RSync is the option that lets you save a copy of your data to another Synology NAS in your network. The settings are similar to those I have shown you when we were connecting to another NAS system. You'll have to give your IP address and user credentials. After that, the shared folder and the folder you need to backup, add applications and configure the schedule. Backup now? Yes. WebDIV is an extension to the HTTP protocol which provides functionality for networking with files on remote servers. It lets you save copies of your data to a remote web server. You'll have to give your IP address, folders, and user credentials. Also, you can save your backups with the help of OpenStack Swift. OpenStack Swift is an object storage module in an OpenStack framework. There are also several more cloud server options, S3 storage by Amazon. Here you need to select the server where cloud storage is configured, type your access key, secret key, bucket name and directory. You can also upload your data backup to Dropbox or Google Drive. This way is very easy. Sign in to your account, Allow Hyper Backup to access the service and provide permissions. After that, just choose your folders. And save their backups. Also, if you have an account with any of the following services, you can keep your backup files there. High Drive, JD Cloud, Microsoft Azure, Rackspace, iCloud S3, or Huic. The source data can be a whole volume or a few specific folders that you would like to include into your backup. In each of the backup settings, you can edit the schedules, specific folders 
collect application data and other things. When configuring your options in Hyper Backup, you can choose one of these cloud services depending on your needs and preferences. Just remember that before doing that, you must ensure compatibility and safety of a certain cloud service provider. Now that you have a backup file, you can recover data on Synology DSM. As a result, you'll be able to restore deleted files, recover your system after a failure, or even transfer your data to a new device. Open the Hyper Backup app on your Synology device. In the menu, click on the Restore button. Now select the Source Backup. From the list of available backups, choose the one you'd like to use for data restoration. And this could be a specific point in time or a specific file. Now choose the destination. Select where you want to restore your data. This could be the original destination of this data or any other directory on your storage device. To start the restoration process, click Next. Hyper Backup will display the restoration progress and you'll be able to see which data is already restored. When it's over, you'll see a window saying that your data has been restored successfully. So, this is how we have restored deleted data from a backup. It is important to remember that backing up your data regularly helps you maintain safety and accessibility of all your information. So, today we have explored how to backup the operating system, its data, and how to restore files from a backup file. Checking your backups regularly will help to ensure that your data is protected safely and information can be restored easily, if necessary. Remember that backups are a key element in the strategy to ensure the safety of your files, and Hyper Backup gives you an effective and convenient way to manage this process. If you ever have any issues in restoring files from a backup, a backup file is damaged or missing, you can always restore data accidentally removed from a Synology based RAID system as long as you have a dedicated tool, Hetman RAID Recovery. Hetman RAID Recovery will help you recover data if your RAID has crashed, if you deleted files accidentally, or if the disks inside your RAID have been formatted. The program will automatically rebuild the damaged RAID with the available hard disks and display its contents. To recover your files, start the scan and wait until it's over. After that, open the folder where the lost files were stored and recover them. If you want to learn more about data recovery from Synology DSM, check other videos in our channel. You can find the link in the description. Well, and that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck.